Y'all remember the movie Charlie Wilson's War? Well, it actually gets its entire title wrong, let alone just the theme of the entire movie. Hey, Cypher here. The 2007 movie Charlie Wilson's War isn't so much about something that was Wilson's War so much as Reagan's War, but the movie simply wants to deny that. This movie gets a lot correct, even making the actors look the part, as so many movies do. This movie is not really wrong because of its factual basis, but because of its thematic phrasing. That's still a problem with the narrative, but different from the normal stuff. The outrageous stuff in this movie, like Charlie Wilson getting high in a Vegas hot tub, are actually true. The senator was a lot more unrestrained than depicted, actually. He was known as Good Time Charlie for a reason. After having seen this movie, Wilson actually commented that he got off easy. Joanne Herring, on the other hand, was very dissatisfied with her portrayal, making her look like a hypocrite. There isn't much to show what was correct or not on this though, since it is such a broad comment. Wilson did not meet with Gus Avrakotos the same day as learning of the investigation. This is just cinematic timing for the sake of brevity, and to make things seem a little more crazy by piling it all on the viewer. Okay, so here is why the movie is generally misleading. Charlie Wilson was certainly an integral part of funding the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, but he was not this lone wolf doing everything on his own. President Reagan had a great deal more to do with giving Stinger missiles to guerrillas. The very title is just wrong. It wasn't Wilson's war, but a collaborative effort by the entire executive branch and a few congressmen. One historian said, The movie vastly exaggerates the influence of Charlie Wilson at the expense of individuals who were equally or even far more influential, and who somehow are not mentioned whatsoever a gross, intentional, and rather shameless oversight. This attitude of it's Wilson's war is at its worst when a character blatantly points out that Wilson, who was a Democrat, managed to get this done despite a belligerent Republican president. That is about as far away from the truth as you can get. Reagan would have a history of covert interventions during his administration, and this was just the beginning of a long line of anti-communist stuff. The fact is, Reagan was the one who advocated the Stinger missile program, almost against Wilson at first. The movie just keeps doing this throughout. For another example of how badly this movie swerves to misrepresentation, there's a scene where Wilson states that there is no American strategy in Afghanistan, and only three others are working on it. That's just stupid. The Carter administration was making political moves about this war back in 1979, and Carter was an imbecile who couldn't fix a damned thing that had any regard to the USA. So much for no strategy. Along this vein of the movie getting its title wrong, Reagan had been campaigning about this much longer. He even hilariously accosted Gorbachev at a Geneva summit in 1985. A strange affectation that has been bandied about in the media since this movie came out is the claim that this is about why 9-11 happened. You know, that because Wilson didn't get the aid to Afghanistan in 1989, Osama bin Laden took over and then turned our own weaponry against us. That's not what the movie says, nor how anyone with intelligence should consider the aftermath of this war. I'm not going to go into the lunacy of it, but suffice it to say, anyone who thinks that the US is responsible for 9-11 because we supported the Mujahideen in the 1980s has no conception of cause and effect. It's certainly important to know about our involvement in Afghanistan in the 1980s, but this is the wrong movie to show it. It misrepresents the most important figure in that entire mission. 
is basically accurate only when looking at Wilson, but no one else. So, thanks for watching. Tell me what other based on a true story movies need busting in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some previous episodes. I'll see you next time.